Okay, let's review how we are going to put our fingers on the flute. Okay, so let's start with our right hand. It goes at the bottom of our flute. Our pinky rests on this little teardrop shaped key right here. Okay, and then we go with our fingers, three, two, one. Okay, and then this, right where our pointer finger is, this one key, this is called the F key. Okay, and if we remember, we'll review our three points of balance in a second, but our thumb rests on the flute right behind that F key. Not touching these bars or wedged up underneath, just on the back of the flute. Now I have a pad on mine. I made a video showing you how to do that if you want to. Or if you don't have a pad, that's fine. Your finger will just rest on the metal body of the flute. Okay, now your left hand. Remember, for both hands, we want to have it like we've just picked up a soda can. Okay, or a tennis ball. They're nice and relaxed. Curved C shape so we can move our fingers easily. Both hands are like that. Okay. With our left hand, we're going to say New York, New York. So remember that means no, yes, no, yes. No, yes, no, yes. So skip the first key, put your finger on the second one, first finger on the second one. Skip this second key, put your finger on the third one. So my flute has a hole in it, yours will not, that's totally okay. And then our ring finger, or our third finger goes here, and a pinky finger goes on this one that kind of sticks out like a golf club, okay? And then our thumb rests on the second one, not this top one, but the second one here, okay? And you can see when I hold my flute up, my fingers are nice and relaxed. Everything is calm, okay? And so I can move my fingers easily.